welcome to Mama Sue's Kitchen. I'm glad you're with me today because I'm going to share a recipe that's in my Volume 2 cookbook. Those of you who already have it, if you want to turn to page 20, it's a crock pot recipe. And if you're like me, you're going to love crock pot recipes because you just put all the ingredients in there and forget about it until you're ready to eat. But anyway, it is crock pot red beans and rice and the recipe calls for a pound of dried red beans and i have rinsed them and drained them and i'm going to go ahead and put those in the crock pot and then my recipe calls for two pounds of smoked sausage but i'm only putting a pound today you know, I told you, you make do with what you have. And, of course, two pounds would be good, but a pound will be fine tonight, today. All right. Eight cups of chicken broth, which is two of these 32-ounce um, uh, boxes. So I've already measured it out. One onion that's diced. And I used my little chopper that I love. And then uh, a tablespoon of minced garlic. And I'm going to use the kind that's already minced. A six ounce can of tomato paste a teaspoon of salt and also a teaspoon of pepper I'm going to put the salt and the pepper. A teaspoon of dried oregano. It smells good. And that's all we're going to put in there, which is red beans, smoked sausage, chicken broth, an onion diced, minced garlic, tomato paste, salt, pepper, and oregano. I'm going to stir all that together. And that's all we're going to do to it. We're going to cook it on low for six, no, for eight to ten hours. So, you can either cook it all night or all day. And you just put everything into the crock pot except your rice. And I will make the rice when I'm ready to serve. So, that's so simple. And I'm going to plug it up, turn it on low, and let it go for about 10 hours. I'll be back. Okay, this cooked for 10 hours, and then I wasn't quite ready to serve it, so I just put the crock pot on warm, and I made some rice, and I just put a cup of rice in a bowl, and I'm going to put the red beans over the rice. The rice is already there. So... Simple. It's as simple as it can get. You just dump it all in the crock pot 
And the only thing you're going to have to make to go with it is rice, if that's what you want. But remember, this recipe is in my Volume 2 cookbook on page 20. Crock pot, red beans, and rice. And so many of you say, how can I get your cookbook? The way you can get it is go to my website, mamasuesouthernkitchen.com, and there's a tab that says cookbook, and it shows you how you can order. You can pay by PayPal or a credit card, and uh, if you wanted to send a check, there's an address where you can order. But this is going to be what we have today along with some y'all sweet tea. Now, I put mine today in my turvis. I, you know, I like, I mean, this is not Tervis, this is a Yeti. I like my Tervis that I got from them, but I also like this Yeti cup. And that's what we're going to have. And y'all, the directions of how you make this tea is on the back. It tells you step one, two, three, four, five, six. And if you don't, if you can't have sugar, it's not sweet until you put the sugar in it. It's just called y'all sweet tea because it tells you how to make it with sugar. So if you're a diabetic or you do not use sugar, you can still make the tea like this. And these are, this one right here are the half gallon bags. It's perfect for Harold and me just to make a half gallon. Now, when we're going to have company, we use the gallon bags. But you can order this also on my website from the store. Or you can go to yallsweettea.com and order it from them too. But anyway, this is a recipe that I think you're going to like. And I hope you'll try it. I do want to tell you that the verse this morning that has really stuck out to me comes from 1 Peter five and it's verse seven it says give all your worries and cares to god for he cares about you some translations say cast all your worries your anxiety to god give them to god we're not supposed to carry them you know most of our anxiety comes between our two ears Joyce Myers says the battlefield is the mind. So when you have those worries, when I have those worries, I've got to remember to cast them down, to give them to God. Y'all, let's be salt and light. Be a light. Show that you have Jesus. And I'll be back soon.